National Smile Month product per day with Growing Smiles today are uh, GC MI Paste Plus and GC Tooth Mousse. Um, and we're going to look at the who, what, where, when and why. Um, I describe these as moisturiser for your teeth um, because the whole aim these days of uh, dentistry is to maintain healthy tooth surfaces and conserve as much healthy tooth structure as is absolutely possible and creating an environment that prevents acid and sugar attack and you can do this in a number of different ways fluoride is the big one that um, everybody has in toothpaste these days and it has a, had a huge impact over the last 30 years the way fluoride has been added to toothpaste but more recently uh, tooth mousse and mi paste plus have been developed in australia by dentists and originally tooth mousse was created uh, for those people who didn't want to use fluoride for whatever reasons so but they, uh, they still were concerned about oral health and they wanted to create a, a healthy environment in their mouths and prevent acid attack and sugar attacks in other words tooth decay and acid erosion so these were developed in australia um, and basically what it is is um, a, a way of remineralizing the tooth surface and who needs them? Well, adults and children alike. I mean, adults, anybody from 0 to 99 can use tooth mousse. Um, uh, over six year old for the MI Pace Plus because the only difference is that MI Pace Plus also has fluoride in it. So um, anyone that needs extra protection for their teeth now, increased risk of tooth decay, increased risk of acid erosion. Now, whatever reason that might be, it might be uh, because you have medications that call it make your mouth dry. We use these a lot with asthmatics and um, find an awful lot with inhaler use and you should rinse your mouth out after you use an inhaler. But that's not always practical. Practical. Having MI plus or tooth mousse to hand means that you can put a blob of this in your mouth, uh, spread it around your teeth and help to remineralize the tooth surface after inhaler or nebulizer use. Now, that's only one example. Um, it's great for anybody with hypersensitivity because again it really helps with that, particularly if you've had something like tooth bleaching or professional cleaning and your teeth have got quite sensitive. You can put some of this on either if you've got trays, you can use it in trays or you can use it with a, with a finger and I'm going to go into how you actually use it. Anybody with special needs or who has poor saliva flow, again, it's just a, a, a way of actually helping to remineralize and protect your teeth from potential damage from acid and sugar. Um, because the, the casein phosphopeptides that are used in these products come from a milk uh, casein uh, protein, uh, they're not suitable for those who have milk protein allergies or any benzoate sensitivities. But again, look at the product for details. It's all on the website. So what actually is it? Well, it's a topical cream with calcium phosphate and in the case of MI plus paste fluoride as well. It also has xylitol in it. So um, it is made up of a, a thing called recaldent, which is casein phosphopeptide and amorphous calcium phosphate and a water-based cream. Uh, fluoride, there's 900 parts per million of fluoride in the MI Plus paste there. Um, when you put it in your mouth, it actually binds to the plaque biofilms, bacteria, the hydroxyapatite of the, the tooth surface and the soft tissue. So it gives this great um, environment in the mouth to heal basically any early damage. And it, what it does, it then focuses the bioavailable calcium, phosphate and fluoride on the two surfaces and creates this protective barrier and remineralizes actually can then potentially heal early signs of decay and acid erosion. It um, comes in quirky flavors, so that makes it very popular, particularly with kids. So it comes in mint, um, tutti frutti, melon, strawberry, vanilla. I quite like the vanilla. I think it looks, tastes a bit like ice cream. Uh, strawberry is very popular with children. So where do you actually use it? Um, you actually uh, use it in the mouth, obviously, but you may find that professionals, so your dental professional may use it before you have your teeth cleaned or after bleaching. They may um, if you're having a professional tooth bleaching, they may put uh, this in as part of your kit to use in your trays afterwards. So it can be used in special trays made by your dentist, or it can be used very easily by just spreading around with your finger. So it's an interesting texture because it looks a bit like toothpaste, but it's not. It's actually quite tacky. So you can see how tacky that is. So it is quite sticky. Just pea sized blob in your in your finger. Pop that in your mouth, spread it all around with your teeth and let it be. If you are at risk of, of uh, decay or acid erosion in between your teeth, you can actually 
pass it in between your teeth on the end of one of these so you put it in your mouth first of all and then you use that in and out in between your teeth or an interdental brush whatever your 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 way of you, you that you usually clean in between your teeth it's a great way of actually applying that excuse me while i just pop that in my mouth so home use pea sized blob on a clean finger in a cotton bud leave it undisturbed for about three minutes make sure it's spread well around the teeth the longer it's in contact with the mouth, the more effective it actually is. Um, any excess you can spit out, um, but don't rinse out afterwards. Um, don't eat, uh, don't eat or drink for about thirty minutes after use. When are you going to use it? Um, generally speaking, be last thing at night, or uh, uh, as you're basically directed by your dental professional. Usually, last thing at night is great after you've cleaned your teeth because you get an overnight benefit. Uh, either with finger or tray application. Again, just ask your dental professional if you're not sure, or again, come back to us and grow and smile. That's what we're here for. Very effective after tooth bleaching. If you've got little white spot lesions after orthodontics, very effective for that as well. Um, so, as I say, there's a number of different uses. Why would you actually want to use this? Well, every time you actually eat or drink acids or sugars, attack your teeth. And it can take anywhere between 20 minutes and 2 hours for your saliva to actually remineralize and heal the damage. So what this does is actually increase the potential of healing any damage quickly. So, uh, as I say, it's a matter of, of creating an environment that's conducive to health in your mouth as quickly as possible. Um, using something like Tooth Mister MI Plus creates that environment that, that we know can create a very strong tooth in the percentage of calcium, phosphate and fluoride that the strongest tooth that any dental professional could manufacture if they if they could, uh, would do. So use help regulate, help prevent both tooth decay and acid erosion. Um, and it's all part of that whole minimally invasive dental approach. And you may well have heard about minimal intervention dentistry and the use of uh, these two products, both MI Plus Paste and uh, GC tooth mousse are very much about a minimal intervention approach to dentistry. So it always depends on your risk, but um, it's a really good moisturiser for teeth. Helps to reduce tooth decay and acid erosion and sensitivity and little white spot lesions in your teeth used regularly. So there you go, National Smile Month's product per day. Today are GC MI Paste Plus and GC tooth mousse.